Hello, my name is Jody, and I would like to welcome you to today's Good News Ladies Edition. I'm so happy to have you join me. A couple of nights ago, I gave my son some dinner options. Option one, cold cereal, breakfast for dinner. Option two, macaroni and cheese with hot dogs. Option three, giant meatballs, mashed potatoes and gravy with his choice of vegetables that he would have to eat without complaining. And option four, McDonald's. Much to my surprise, I had to put my keys away because he chose option three and I am so glad he did. He knew that the meat, potatoes and veggies option was going to be the tastiest. He didn't care that it was going to take an hour longer than anything else, and he didn't care that it wasn't the most convenient option. And while I was rolling meatballs and mashing potatoes, I started to think about the other options I had given him. They were convenient for me to serve, but they weren't what was best for him. Our verse for today is Proverbs 31 verse 14. She is like a merchant ship, bringing her food from afar. The woman in this verse is the one watching out for and meeting the needs of her family. She isn't taking shortcuts when it comes to feeding her family healthy meals, and she does it with a joy-filled servant's heart. For this woman, the task of feeding her family is not a chore, but an act of love. She will do what she needs to do to provide. She will go the extra mile. She will choose wisely for her family. Ladies, let's not settle for convenience. Let's put forth the effort. Let's go that extra mile. We are to be creative and diligent, hardworking and attentive. When it comes to our families, we should want to feed them meals filled with nutrients, not the junk food, fast food or convenience store food. The same is when we feed them spiritually. We should want our children to hear the truth, not the watered-down gospel, not the gospel of convenience, but the gospel of Jesus Christ. Let's teach our children and grandchildren the meaning of getting our hands dirty and digging into Scripture. A way to teach them by example is by joining a Bible study and talking about what you are learning. Read Scripture together. Set time aside to be in the Word together. Explain things to them. Learn together. Let's not settle for the convenience store gospel, but let's search, let's dig, let's get the best of the best for our families. As a parent, it is my responsibility to raise Jonathan in the ways of the Lord, to teach him about Jesus, to be an example of someone who has Jesus living in their heart. It is a privilege to give him this healthy foundation. Jonathan is not going to stay a little boy forever. I'm not raising a little boy, I'm raising a man who happens to be a child right now. Now is the time to teach him physical and spiritual healthy habits. As a bride of Christ, what are we going to do today? Will we settle for a convenience store Christianity, a hurried Bible reading and a quick prayer? Or will we marinate in the word, meditate on God's love, love letter prayer, carefully, pray fervently, and obey faithfully? We ought to know what our families are being fed physically and spiritually. Let's not settle for anything less. So, how do we become like a merchant ship? We come before God and ask for wisdom and guidance. We ask for our eyes to be open to the needs of others, and then we take action. We go the extra mile, we do the hard work, and we don't settle. As we follow in the footsteps of Christ, as we persist in prayer, God will provide opportunities so we can be a blessing to others. I want to encourage you today, as you go about your daily tasks, I know that you're tired. But remember the words of Psalm 73, verse 26. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Ladies, let's 
lean on him. Let's depend on God's strength as we love and care for our families. And that is today's good news.